This is my local lake, Llintegid or Bala Lake. The wind is forecast to run across the lake on a slight diagonal and our launch point was Glan Llyn. And already at the start of this video we'd crossed by sail to the small headland across on the south side of the lake. The wind had strengthened and was certainly 5 plus, 5 6 and we decided to get the sails down and run with the wind without the rigs. My canoe is outfitted with two side airbags to help in the event I need to self-rescue. Both of us are going to be bow light, Martin using the bow seat reversed uh, and so that he's, he's got the end he's facing is going to be light. That's going to make our steering with the wind behind us a lot, lot easier. The red arrow on the map shows our current position and the green arrow, or green arrows, show the headland that we're aiming to clear and get around. Our problem at this stage is if we try to hug the shore, which would be far safer in terms of a swim, then we're going to get stuck in the bay because down there it's going to be windy, waves, and we're going to be driven onto the shore. So from here we're going to have to angle out to head straight for that headland. Both our boats are bow light, and this means that with the wind behind us the boat will act as a weather vane and actually make our steering far easier in running with that. Very quickly we're driven forwards, more exposed to the, the waves coming in from the left and it's building up quickly. Steering is a combination of J's where necessary, stern rudders, and I'm keeping an eye out to the left to see if I can see squalls coming, some stronger bursts of wind. And they show with a, a, a change in texture, a sort of graying of the surface, they become quite obvious as they head towards you. closer to the headland then we are beginning to angle out, Martin angling out to the left. There is a fence that runs out and we certainly don't want to be driven onto that. The fence is now visible running out into the water and I just need to angle out a little more to make sure that I'm not going to end up in the fence. Headland ahead of us is Plangower Point, and the original plan was to pass it, tuck into the back of the bay, which would be sheltered ish, and then head down that uh, southeast shore all the way to the end. But the wind has dropped off a bit, and we always had a plan B in mind. So it's very quickly uh, implemented and easy to implement because we discussed it in advance. 
we can head out and across the lake. Once we commit to the crossing, we're very quickly out into the middle of the lake because as we come past the point and the wind driving us to the right, all of a sudden we're a long way from land that we can actually reach. There's the point we're headed for, way on the other side, but we're not going to aim directly for it, but to angle across no specific point, we're just going to do what's easy with the canoes. To a small extent I'm using the wind to help me steer. The wind, because I'm bow light, is pushing the bow to the right. By paddling on the right my power stroke turns the bow to the left. To an extent they can't switch each other out, but not quite. Because it's not quite balanced, the canoe does want to turn further to the left. So I'm having to do J's and stern rudders to hold it on the track that I'm happy with. Notice that I'm staying upwind with Martin. If something goes wrong, if he capsizes, then I can actually turn and go down towards him. Uh, it's not going to be easy to do a rescue in these conditions, and I'm only out here with Martin because he's very solid in his boat. We stayed in the bay for about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Uh, we were practicing and playing with different ideas on self-rescue, which is one of the criteria Martin had set for his day. Because now we could follow the shoreline and could be within swimming distance if need be, then I decided it was safe to sail the remaining distance. But we're setting out in a very sheltered area because the wind is angling slightly out to the right there. But we could see the white horses still to our right and the wind here was quite fickle and gusty but it was soon picking up. For those of you who would like to learn the techniques using this style of solo rig I'll put a link in the description to a video that specifically covers the techniques I use.
I've been playing around with the cell and the camera equipment uh, or control of it and I got a little bit close to this headland but got away with it. This was some day out and it was on the limit of where I want to be wind wise and thanks to Martin a great guy to be on the water with great guy to exp to share the experience with a fantastic day Hi folks, I hope you found that interesting and helpful and what you can do is you can press like, you can subscribe and comments are always welcome. If you'd like to support the channel there is a link in the description below for buymeacoffee.com. My own book Canoeing is available directly from myself but there are links in the description below for easy buys in North America or the rest of Europe. Thank you for watching and thank you for the support.